Hi, today we're going to read a story and they're going to do a science experiment, all right? The first story we're going to read is, Who Has These Feet? Who has these feet? Whose feet do you think? Let's see. Polar bear has these feet. A polar bear has fur on the bottom of his feet so it won't slip on the ice. Who has these feet? Who do you think? A tree frog has these feet. A tree frog has sticky pads on its toes so it can stick to leaves. Who has these feet? A duck has these feet. A duck has web feet so it can go fast in the water. Who has these feet? Hmm, that one could be hard to figure out. Mm, let's see. An ant has these feet. An ant has claws on the end of its feet so it can dig a nest under the ground. Who has these feet? Let's see. A squirrel has these feet. A squirrel has claws on his toes so it can run up and down trees. Who has these feet? A parrot has these feet. A parrot has two toes in the front and two toes in the back so it can hold onto branches. Who has these feet? A desert lizard has these feet. A desert lizard has special scales around its toes so it won't sink down into the sand. Who has these feet? A sea turtle has these feet. A sea turtle has flippers so it can pull itself through the water. Who has these feet? Those are big feet. A kangaroo has these feet. A kangaroo has big feet so it can hop far, a long way so it looks for food, as it looks for food. Who has these feet? We have these feet. Alright. Now, let's do a science experiment. We've been talking about hibernation and animals, how they sleep in the winter because they're too cold. Well, I have ice, all right? So here's my coldness. Polar bears, even though they're bears, they don't sleep in the winter. They like the cold because they have what's called blubber underneath their skin, okay? And blubber is kind of like a thick uh, fat part underneath their skin, okay? And it keeps them warm, all right? So if you have ice and Crisco oil, we... At home, you can do this experiment with me, okay? So here's ice. First, I want you to stick your hand. I'm going to stick my hand in the ice, all right? Ooh, it's so cold. I wouldn't live in the cold weather because this is too cold, all right? But I'm going to get some Crisco oil in a jar, okay? And put it in a bag because I don't want to get my hands all icky in it. Alright, then open this up. Alright, so there's my Crisco oil. Kind of this thickness, alright? Kind of like the blubber that's in um, underneath the polar bear skin. Okay, so I got Crisco oil in a baggie. Alright, I'm going to put another baggie on top. I don't want to touch this. Alright. So. I'm going to stick the Crisco oil, the blubber, inside the ice, all right? And I'm sticking my hand inside the baggie, and guess what? Do you think I'm feeling the coldness or the warmth? I'm feeling warm because I don't feel the coldness because the blubber is protecting my hand from the ice, from the cold, all right? So if you have 
this stuff at home, you can try this experiment too, okay? And see, you can feel the difference of the coldness and the warmth of the blubber, okay? Have a good day and I hope you enjoy the science experiment. Bye!